The sport of women's wrestling is gaining momentum nationwide with more and more girls taking to the mat. In North Dakota, it's been a slow process. However, one Fargo girl is taking on the best of the best this week at the Cadet and Junior National Championships at the Fargo Dome. Alex Egan tells us why the sport is on the rise here in the Valley. I've got three brothers. So, and my dad, my dad wrestled in high school. My brothers wrestled. It was what I was around my entire little kid life. And even though she's only a sophomore in high school, Haley Rorick has been competing in wrestling tournaments since she was in the seventh grade. Yeah, my first tournament, I had like one practice before I went to the tournament. I had no idea what I was doing. All I knew was just don't get pinned. She didn't. And in the six years since, she says the thing she likes the most is the challenge. It takes a lot of mental toughness, physical toughness. It's just, it's really hard in the weight cutting. I think it, the hardest part is mental. North Dakota is starting to get in line with the rest of the country with girls wrestling, but still only a handful of girls are competing in the entire state. So for the most part, Haley wrestles boys during the high school season, which she says she actually prefers. I, I think I get better faster and I get stronger. I don't win as much, but I like, I feel like I get better quicker. During the cadet and junior national championships in Fargo, Haley will wrestle other girls. She's competed at national tournaments in Oklahoma and Illinois, but this is her first year eligible for Fargo. Her coach during the tournament is University of Jamestown women's wrestling coach, Tony DeAnda. He's been coaching women's wrestling for over 10 years. Well, you know, when I first got involved, uh, when it was starting, the technique wasn't at where it is now. Now the technique is, is amazing. DeAnda says women's wrestling is evolving much faster than the established wrestling for men. And he's bought into the mindset of, if the positives of the sport are good for the boys, then why not let the girls have the same? And the sport continues to grow. DeAnda's program at Jamestown is one of about 20 or 30 colleges offering women's wrestling. Most are at the NAIA or Division III level, and they continue to pave the way for the future. It's continuing to grow, and there's going to be more and more opportunities, and I think down the road we could probably see Division I programs also having women's wrestling. As for Haley, she's excited to be competing with the best of the best and continue to grow in the sport. And thanks to the growth of the sport, it's not something that has to stop once high school ends, using the same mentality she uses for each individual match. I try and look at the future and think about my goals and what I've got to do to get there, and it'll all be worth it in the end. Alex Egan, Valley News Live Sports. Haley won two matches and lost two matches in the cadet round on Saturday. She will be back on the mat Monday, competing with some older girls. The tournament continues at the Fargo Dome through July 23rd.